Unfortunately, there is a tiny minority of ignorant, reckless fools who are in, an, engaged in violent acts across this city, and they seem not to grasp the full consequences of their actions. You see, I never really thought I had power back then as a young person anyway, you know what I mean? So I just did whatever, you know, that whatever could help me out. You know, I wasn't thinking about me. I wasn't thinking about my society. I wasn't thinking about my family. More than a dozen teenagers had gathered outside the store, and then they rushed in, overwhelming customers and employees who could do little more than watch them steal more than $20,000 of merchandise and walk right out the front door. In America, there's a saying goes, business as usual. For the youth organizers at the Youth Art Self-Empowerment Project in North Philadelphia, business as usual means taking a critical look at how the government, the criminal justice system, and the public school system work together to form the school to prison pipeline for under-resourced urban youth and communities. Meet Josh. We look at the, 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 the way that they underfund Philadelphia public schools or, you know, urban areas. Most of the people that worked with us are young people that were currently charged as adults in the Philadelphia adult prisons. We have a campaign to repeal Act 33. So we go around our neighborhood, we get a signature from uh, everybody in our neighborhood saying that they want the law that allows young people to be automatically charged as adults. They want it repealed or amended. Right now, they're spending about 11000 per young person in the Philadelphia public school. But in the suburban area, they spend around $21,000. They hold a, somebody in prison, they spend around $35,000. New cigarette. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. in the early 1900s. And so it wasn't because you want people to actually go off to college. It was the socialization piece. It was teaching students about this is what it means to be a good American. Um, but it was also, I need certain people to become factory workers. I need uh, fewer people to actually become managers. I need even fewer than that to become owners. So the system wasn't built because we wanted to see everybody have this uh, equal lifestyle. I think the school to prison pipeline is really in place, you know what I mean? I think they see them as the people that should be going through the school to prison pipeline. From school, they don't receive the proper funding they should receive, they don't receive the proper teaching they should receive, so they end up going into the prison system, you know? That's just like how they they, they uh, make the amount of bids that they build in prison based on third grade test scores. They're basically creating criminals as they go. I used to go home to the days, it wasn't food in the refrigerator, you know, but then I go to school, and, you know, nobody talked to me. Nobody wanted to know what my problems was, you know? Nobody didn't care about what my problems was, you know? So when young people go to a place like that and they have problems, they'll go wherever they find that connection at, you know what I mean? You go home and you don't have no food in the refrigerator, and then you go to school and you don't have nobody help trying to help you, you know, get no food in the refrigerator or trying to tell you things you can do to get food or anything like that. And you go to the streets and somebody's offering you a way to get it. I mean, which way are you gonna take? I mean, it's common sense, and that's what a lot of young people go through every day. How is what you learn going to impact somebody else in a better way? And then how do you then have an impact that you can then help change the world in that path? We do education so wrong because it's actually to bring out of somebody. And so much of the time we're just putting stuff in kids and then saying, all right, now go off and repeat what I just said on a piece of paper. But when you have students who can actually... Uh, do, do text to life connections. And so this is something that, I mean, we do high level thinking in here. We acknowledge the fact that they're already doing it. When you're dealing with the fact of, this is how drugs work in my community. This is how I was involved in this certain gang. This is how I did these certain things or how my friends did these certain things or what I've seen with my own family. How do you, you have to have a space to honor that. And so this is one way that we do it. Um, and then the students, uh, they actually get mad during our classes because when the bell rings, they're like, I hate this because I never get a chance to finish or complete that thought. Serena Muti Reed reporting to you live from Philadelphia, USA.